What's up you bunch of legends and guess who's just hit 110 subs? Yeah, you guessed right, I have. And uh, I want to thank you guys so, so much. Um, thanks to everyone who's uploaded my promo. I made my channel yesterday and it's already taken off pretty well. And uh, yeah, this is just another tutorial for you guys. Um, as you can see on my video earlier, I uh, basically it's a sniper and it's got like the white line going around the outside. And I asked for 5 likes and I got 31. Just Yeah, 31. And the tutorial is going to be this little white line around the edges and it's going to kind of move the screen as well. It's really easy. It's a bit time consuming, but it's worth it. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to open After Effects. Mine's here. And I already imported my clip and what I did was I got... Uh, I imported my clip, here it is. And I need to turn it on. And what I want to do is you want to right click it and go to time, enable time remapping, and drag your little marker to one second. You can change the time, it's up to you, but I prefer to have it at one second, it's just easier. And then once we've done this, we're going to want to duplicate it by uh, control D. And then we are going to, uh, thingy, we're going to rename this one to stroke. I'm going to do a little exclamation mark there. Stroke! Okay, um, on the one that has stroke, we're going to unclick the little eye on this one. But on the one that has stroke, we're going to want to get our pen tool, as you can see here. And you're just going to want to go around the edges of the gun. This is very time consuming. If anyone else knows a better way of doing this, please let me know. Uh, because it's quite a lengthy process, I did it earlier. Um, and as you can see, it's here. Apparently, yeah, here it is. And uh, all you can see is that I've done gone around the edges of the gun uh, with the pen tool, and it's just created this. Oh, and I also it's where to where you see this clip being quite long, the one that you've penned out, you're gonna want to just shorten it to where um, the marker is, uh, which is also what I've done here. So once you've masked it out and shortened it. You're going to want to generate some stroke, uh, a stroke effect. Uh, you can get it on here as well by going to an effect and it's generate. For some reason it's not. Generate and then drag it onto your sniper, which as you can see doesn't do anything. So then what you're going to want to do is go at the start of your clip, you're going to want to go on this end button here, I believe. Yep. And go to zero. Am I correct? I don't know. Please be correct. Um. Uh, go forward, find the frame right there, and then take it to 100. Right, that might have been... Right, that was right, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, yeah. And then change the brush size to 4. Now, as you can see, what this will do is it just creates this little line around the edge of the gun. And as you can see, it's already started moving around the outsides very nicely. That could be done on its own, be a bit plain. I wouldn't recommend it. So I decided to spice it up a little bit by what I did was I duplicated this layer down here. And deep. And you're going to want to shorten the top one to the same length as this. And uh, sorry for the music in the background, it's just on my Spotify playlist. And if you are really interested, just the music came up there earlier. <laughs> uh, okay, and then we're going to uh, just shorten this one to the opposite side. Right, that's perfect. And then with these two, we're going to want to make them shake a little. So we're going to go on New, Null Object, and we're going to want to just drag this Null Object to also to the same length. Also easily done. Yeah, there we go. And we're going to want to go on this Null Object, highlight it, and press P on our uh, keyboards. And then hold down the Alt key, and click this little stopwatch. And you see, you get this little red numbers, and you also get this down here, this little text thing. So you're going to want to type here, wiggle, so that's W-I-G-G-L-E, uh, open bracket, I like to have 7, which is how many wiggles per second you can change yours, uh, comma, and then I have 15, I think, yeah, and then close bracket. And that, when you watch it, you'll just see the little box wiggling around, right, like that. 
So what we're going to want to do is we want to link the actual clip to that. So we uh, highlight the two. Of, no, we just highlight the clip. The one with the actual sniper. And um, we're going to use this little like spiral, and we're going to drag it onto the null. And um, we're going to do the same with this one here, except we're going to just yeah, we'll just do the same. Drag it to the null also. Now, when you watch it, you'll see like the little thing just it just shakes around. It's quite cool. And uh, when it's about to shoot, it stops wiggling, which was the idea of creating this new layer here. Now, I also in the tutorial, no, not in the tutorial, in the video, I also changed the thing, um, the position. I made it zoom in a, sl a small amount, and I did this by going on transform of the clip. Uh, on the scale bit, you go to the start of your thing. Uh, you're gonna want to press the little stopwatch, and that's. 109.4, I need to remember that, 109.4 and here we're going to want to zoom it go to, we're just going to want to click this button here which also makes it 109.4 go forward a frame and I'm then going to zoom it in oh, wrong one right, so that's a fail there zoom it in, I usually have it to 137 and you'll see, you'll see what this is going to do in a minute, just uh, bear with me so then we're going to change it back to, no we're not, we're going to click this little button here which uh, just uh, makes a new keyframe and change it back to 109.4 and it, when you watch it, it'll like make the sniper go forward but for some reason it jumps forward and I don't want that Um, so it jumped forward, didn't want that at all I wanted it to go like this so I drag that in there, I think. Yeah, perfect. And then we just want to delete this one here. Just pay no attention to what I just did. What you need to do is you need to start it at 109.4. In the middle, make it uh, whatever you want to zoom it to. And then round about the end, you want to uh, make it back to its original. And you're going to want to do the same with the next one. So I need to remember that this is 37.4. So I'm going to open this one. Do this very quickly. Scale, as you can see, it's there. Keyframe, go roughly to the middle. Let's try and find where the other one was. There. Uh, Thirty-seven point nine, I think it was. One three seven point nine. I may be wrong. I'll soon see. Now it was right here. Yeah. Uh, then go forwards and change it back to one oh nine point nine. Yeah, perfect. So now you'll see that this does the shaking effect. Oh, let's delete that one. And yeah, it does the shaking effect, goes forwards, then comes back out and shoots. Perfect. So guys, this has been one of my tutorials. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry if I made a few mistakes. It's a really long tutorial and... Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and like the video. It really helps me get more people noticing it. And uh, yeah, my next video will probably be on a colour correction on Magic Bullet Looks. And thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you later.